our endeavor here is to duplicate the seed because there's very little of the seed, but also to get a good examination of the plant, the success that it'll have because of the way it's made. It's open, lots of air movement, and since we, are, we cannot use any kind of herbicide, fungicide, insecticide, any kind of pesticide, then we have to do the selection uh, properly of the germplasm we use uh, so that we can survive all of the ills of nature. And this one is, look at, look at this beautiful thing here. You see that, how open it is? It's just perfect. Some of them are just a tad shorter, but there's still a lot of branching in there, and it's really looking very promising, shall we say. Very little disease, if any. You can cast your eyes out over a, a, this whole field of females that, that you see here. There's no disease. Uh, we think long-term that is key to everything. Your selection of germplasm is directly related to the success that you'll have in the CBD business. Uh, it's, it harvest easy, a uh, lot of lots of seed, but look at the placement of the, the cola itself. There you go. You get a kind of a glimmer, and it is it's just gooey as like jelly. I mean, it's just full of it all the way to the very ground. At our company, we like to look at what is the plant designed for. And in this particular case, we see that the plant obviously was selected for its percentage of CBD. But since it's got seed from head to toe, and we can collect the seed by the way we harvest it and dry it, then the seed becomes a valuable item more than just one that you turn back and plant again. We can crush this seed. It's a good oil variety and, um, well, it's, it's hemp, you know, and the seed is full of the oil and the meal. So it makes a great dual purpose variety. Kentucky is a great place to do this. Look at this soil. Look at this. This is Harrison County, even. Look at that. It hadn't rained here in a little while, but there's still plenty of moisture in this land. See that? When you can do dirt like that, you got moisture. And this is a drought hardy plant. It likes drought. It likes, and you, and you make it a little angry from not having enough water, and the CBD will spike, which is what we're seeing here. I'm tickled. Boy, oh, smell that. Oof. Lots of people think that just because you got seed, you have no CBD. That's not true at all. There's plenty there. Look at that. Can you see it? It's almost dripping off that leaf. This is a very uniform variety. If you're going to grow a lot of acres, you want consistency. We don't release a, a variety into any kind of public domain unless we know there is consistency in the variety because we're going to be dual purposing a lot of things uh, that makes it the processing setup just a little more complicated. That means you got to go to the extra length to handle both of them. In years to come, they'll be able to feminize everything really easily. They can do it now chemically, although I'm, I'm not seeing it being foolproof and this plant's smarter than that. But yes, I think it's going to be one of these crops that'll be fence row to fence row and it'll be done for several reasons. One for the medicine side of this, or the the health benefit, but but the other is for the oil, the hemp seed oil, and the meal, and of course fiber is the one that's yet to be done. And there there's the last one. You're going to be able to clothe and and use it as building material. Uh, for and this is this could be the the germplasm that gets us started into that. It really will, very well could be. I'm convinced that you have to have the correct plant architecture before you ever go very much further and we've got that we think this will do well <laughs>